Uh, you can feel the excitement in our city. Carb Day is tomorrow, and we've got the Indy 500 now just two days, 18 hours, 29 minutes away. And tonight we found out the local TV blackout is being lifted this year, so that means you'll be able to watch the Indy 500 live Sunday morning right here on Channel 13. We're really excited about that news. And, of course, we're hoping for a fast and safe Indy 500 this year. We know auto racing is a dangerous sport, so that's where Rev Indy comes in. This is an event that supports emergency care for drivers and fans out at IMS and around our state. Their big fundraiser was moved from May to July this year because of the pandemic, but they're kicking things off tonight with a big preview party. 13 Inside Track host Laura Steele is there tonight. That's right, in the month of May, we're used to parties, but the big event rev is happening on July 31st, but tonight at IMS, the media members are being treated to a mini rev and get to taste the food from the different countries representing the field of 33. One of those drivers representing that field is James Hinchcliffe from Canada. We are also joined by celebrity chef Jeff McInnes, who is from Root & Bone, a local restaurant here. You have just been named the celebrity chef, but I have to talk to James about how important this event is for raising funds. It, it's amazing. I mean, right from the, the beginning of this event, the first year, it was such a success. And to see the way that it's grown is incredible. And the cause for us is obviously near and dear to our hearts, raising money for the, the, the medical center here. It's, it's, a, it's a little city on race day. I mean, it's 300,000 plus people. So it's not just keeping the drivers safe. It's keeping all the fans, officials, team people. This is a really important thing for everyone in the IndyCar community. So to be able to come out here and do something as fun as what we do here uh, to, that benefits such a great cause is just awesome. In 2015, th they were very important to you. Yeah, I got, I got an up close and personal look at what they do there and, and it's it, that's why it's extra important to me. I've seen how hard they work, how much they care and so anything that benefits them and helps them do their job is ultimately good for us and so everybody wins. All right, the celebrity chef Jeff McKinnis from Root and Bone. Tell me from Canada, what are we going to have to eat tonight? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm blessed to have this restaurant with James. He's actually one of our partners at Root and Bone. So we made some little biscuits with some Canadian bacon here and some cheddar. We're going to put some uh, hot sauce on it for you, some maple hot sauce. And James over there, he's already sipping away. This is a, a, a Canadian whiskey that's been bacon washed with a little poutine skewer on top. Look at that glass, too. Yeah. <laughs> Turn that glass around. Look at the driver. You got the drivers in there. That looks amazing. There we go. All right, so tonight, the media, I think I'm going to have to go eat because this is for us, technically. It is for right? us. All cheers, right, guys. cheers to you guys. Thank that's you so much for joining event. us. And now back to you. Laura got the best assignment of the day. 13 News is your home for the month of May. And to get you ready for the race, Carlos and Chuck are going to be live at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway tomorrow morning. They've got sunrise out there tomorrow for Carb Day. They also have a crew from the Today Show in town. You can find out how to be a part of their virtual plaza. Just go right now to WTHR.com.